guys, so let's just start off by priming our eyes. I'm using the Lorac Pro Primer. And then after that, I'm taking a little small pencil brush and I'm using the color Combust from the Naked Palette. And I'm just going to use this as my transition color because if you're going to do a smoky eye ever, it's always nice to just have that transition color in place just to make sure everything is neat and nice. And then after that, I'm just going to take this beautiful color called Password. And this is a really cool tone gray, which I really like. I'm taking my Sigma E25 and I'm just going to put this on top of Combus and just kind of blend everything out. I really want to darken up the crease as we kind of start blending things out. So yeah, just add as much as you want. And here I am just adding more color to the crease to darken it up. And then for the base color, I'm going to take this beautiful color called Armor. Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. But I'm taking this little flat shader brush. I actually spray some Smashbox Primer Water on it to make it more pigmented. And I'm just putting this on my eyelid, of course, and then just kind of bringing it up to the crease just to kind of blend everything out. And of course, if you need to use a fluffy brush to blend out the harsh lines, go ahead and do that. After you bring armor up to the crease, I'm going to take my Sigma E40 brush and I'm taking the color Dagger and I'm just going to blend this all over just to kind of get rid of the harsh line and also create this nice smoky look because that's what we're doing today. We want to create this nice sultry smoky look and the key to this is basically just blend, blend, blend and then if you feel like the base color is going to be gone, like the armor one, I'm just here applying that on with my fingers because I find more pigment that way and then after that, I'm just going to line my under eyes. So I'm taking this small pencil brush and I'm just going to line my eyes with a password and dagger and then smudge it out. Since this look is already smoky enough, I just want to add a thin layer of eyeliner on top of my eyes because I'm going to put on some falsies later. I am very sorry if I'm really going super fast in this tutorial. I just want to get to the point and that basically this is just blending, adding on, and blending. So I don't want to repeat that for you guys. But for the face, I'm priming my face with the Too Faced Hang Over RX Primer and I'm just applying this all over my face, of course. And then for the foundation that I'm using today, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This shade is a little bit too light for me, so I'm gonna have like a white cast after I'm done applying this on So hope you guys don't mind I did bronze up my face a bit when I found out that it was a little bit too light for me And I actually had to go back and exchange it. So don't mind I'm gonna get a better shade for me So yeah, I'm actually blending this out with a 6 plus flat tail curl boogie So it's not my Sigma one and it's actually working really well for me I'm gonna do a review soon on this so stay tuned for that Oh my god, I look like I have raccoon eyes right now, but trust me, everything will settle in once I put everything on. So after I'm done blending out my foundation, I'm going to put on my concealer. So this is the Fit Me Concealer in number 20, and I'm just going to do this on both eyes, and then I'm going to blend it out with my tapered Kabuki from Sigma, of course. And then as you guys know me well enough, I always set my concealer with the Anastasia Banana Powder on both sides of my eyes. And this helps with creasing throughout the day. Well, it helps with not creasing throughout the day. And then as you guys can see, I just kind of went back and kind of powdered my whole entire face because you want to make sure that the foundation is set really nice before I move on to bronzer and highlighter and stuff like that. So I'm just setting my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Pro Lace Powder in number 130. And now I'm using my favorite bronzer, which is the Hula Bronzer, and I'm just going to slowly contour with this thing. As you guys can see, the foundation is too white on me, so I'm just trying to kind of make it a little bit darker by putting bronzer all over it and as you can see it's working out a little bit but not as much so just bear with me while I contour my face and now for the first time you guys are seeing me contour my nose on camera and I'm just using this really small precision brush that's from 6 plus also and I'm just contouring my nose hopefully this does not look weird and for the highlighter I had to use the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Color from Becca and this is so amazing. I don't know if you guys can tell that I have like that glow going on but I'm putting it on my nose, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and my chin, forehead, cheekbones, everything because I want that nice glow for this look. So after that everything else I look like this and then I'm just going to put on my lipstick and mascara and I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so I just got done putting on my lipstick. I will list whatever I put on down below. Sorry, I didn't record that for you guys. I always have a hard time putting on my lipstick on camera. So, yeah, and then I also added some falsies on. I didn't want to do falsies with these look, but then when I was taking pictures of this makeup look, I was like, it's missing something, and it's the falsies. So I decided to add them on, but I only have, like, a really thin layer of eyeliner on top of my eyes. I don't have any eyeliner under my eyes at all. And I really think this look is just very sultry and smoky it's perfect for a night out or you know your kind of girls night out whatever you want to wear too it's more for a night look so you can wear this day to day if you guys feel like it but I feel like it might be a little bit too dramatic for me to wear out you know throughout the day but I really hope you guys enjoy this new Urban Decay Smoky Palette I'm actually starting to really like this palette I mean it looks so gorgeous as you guys can see and when I purchased it, I was like, you know, I'm just going to get it to do a look for you guys because I know you guys are going to request it and I'm actually in love with this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my latest video, which is the new Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Review. I'll list that down in the description box for you guys to see. And also, don't forget to subscribe because I will be uploading a new video this coming up week on the new Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. And that will be coming up soon, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.